When I was a child, I always wanted to be a boy and follow my brother. I can't remember having any girls as friends. I always kept my hair very short to look more like the boys. I would do untypical things for girls, such as climbing the wall and finding dangerous places to play in. I was a real tomboy. On the other side, I was a very emotional person, was crying at nights and scared of being a failure. My parents encouraged me to find my own strength. One day they gave me a book that was called The Mystery of Happiness, which changed my whole life. I realized that I could do lots of things as a girl and didn't need to be a boy. So I asked myself, who are you? What are your unique skills? I tried to find my way. That was a starting point for me. I decided to leave my fears. Every day, I imagined building a house and I saw myself there. Imagine myself as a manager for a big company and working with a group of people. Even imagine going somewhere for studying or starting a new life there. It was a real dream. I studied very hard to reach my dream and was accepted in one of the best universities for interior design. When I graduated, I drew a plan for our cottage. My family always supported me to make my dream come true. I changed my field and studied business administration. One day, one of my professors referred me to interview for a position to work in the Ministry of Commerce. I was accepted and I felt I got the job of my dreams. I learned that positive thinking and never giving up are the keys for success. I just have to imagine it, believe in it, and it will eventually happen for real. At the same time, I fell in love with a man who was living in Canada. We felt we could make a life together, and so we moved here and chose Richmond Hill to live in. Now it is a big part of my future. It is a place where my family will grow, where I will work. Right now I'm enhancing my English so I can start working. I left my life behind, but I'm not a girl who cries anymore. I'm here with a lot of dreams that I have a plan for. I know I have to start from maybe zero but I'm sure I will be successful again.